Jasmine, um, and it's supposed to be a play on the fact that in jazz music you can sometimes have minor chords and they go M I N, so it's like jazz and minor because it's in minor. And um, it was written maybe over know, 27 years ago or something like that. My first attempt at trying to write uh, post pop jazz music. That was written before I was born, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Any of us were born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's quite an old tune, uh, but it's the first time, I mean, we've recorded it and it's the first time it's been recorded and it's, it sounds pretty cool in the album. So yeah. yeah, that's it. It's the first song of the album. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Think sounds okay? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's move to the next song. Yeah. Great. Which is? The Yep. Yeah. Cool. Let me just uh, make sure I don't make a mistake with the middle section. <laughs> Thank you. 
Called the grid. <laughs> you might have to blink out that explain it. <laughs> Why is it called the grid? Uh, because uh, it was inspired by uh, Tigran, uh, the Armenian piano player. And it's sort of like a play on words, you know, like the grid. The Tigran. Tigran. The grid. Yeah. Um, yeah, the titles are supposed to be funny and have meaning, but often it's lost. <laughs> uh, yeah, he plays a very good uh, role in our uh, inspiration realm, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a lot of them, uh, a lot of his shows, every other night, actually. Yeah. And uh, so the song was inspired by uh, one of his songs called The Grid. Yeah, that's right. The Grid. Yeah. So yeah. There are lots of subdivisions, but still feels like it's a 4-4. Actually, it's in 4-4, but the ones we played, it, it has multiple time signatures. Uh, so it, 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 it was challenging at the beginning, but soon we find our way, eventually, whatever the music is. Yeah. So this is The Grin. Yeah. Next uh, song? Our last one for the night or the afternoon. <laughs> or maybe the day. Yeah. Can't really tell time in here. <laughs> uh, uh, inspired by a pianola, it's called Pianola. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. So Rob wrote it for, uh, this is dedicated to his father, I guess. Yeah, my dad uh, had a pianola. Um, and it, it sort of has a lean to Astor Piazzolla, uh, the great Argentinian bandonian player. And if you haven't heard of Astor Piazzolla, I highly recommend checking him out. Um, he's considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century. Um, and he start, he basically uh, started this wave called uh, Tango Nuvo, the new tango, uh, in which he uh, reinvented the tango in a very sort of sophisticated harmonic language and a, and a rhythmic uh, way that hadn't been done before. And so he's a real pioneer of, of uh, the tango and the bandonian. And I don't know if you've ever seen the bandonian, but it's diabolical to play. It's got uh, all these buttons on either side and none of the fingering makes sense. And he was a master of it. He was an absolute master of it. Even, even in his, um, I think he was in his late 60s at the end and he was still playing these amazing concerts. So uh, it's got a little, little tip of the hat to him and also the fact that my dad used to have a pianola. Yeah. That's a quite long-winded explanation. <laughs> How many albums did he have? 
Oh, it's like a lot of albums. loads of them, and he had like all these amazing musicians on his albums. Like he had like a, a Romanian violinist and gypsies, and you know, a real. You had a huge collection because I was going through all your CDs. <laughs> there was like two or three folds of his collection. Yeah, all his CDs. Yeah, yeah. he's amazing, amazing. Also, there's a great album of him playing with uh, the jazz American jazz vib vibraphonist Gary Burton. Um, you know, because he was, not only was he like uh, very switched on with uh, classical music, he was also really great at jazz and improvisation as well. So he had that sort of, that blend, that crossover. Um, and I think he studied with uh, a really famous uh, composition teacher in France that a lot of people went through. Uh, Natalie, I forgot her, her name, but like a, a seminal figure in contemporary classical music. Yeah. Anyway. To get yeah. started, yeah.
Thank you for listening to us. We are Robert Russell Trio, and all the music you heard is from our uh, debut album, which is uh, sponsored by Third Space. Uh, the albums will be available uh, over here uh, at the Third Space. Uh, you will find it uh, online uh, in various platforms such as uh, Gears for Years. Uh, if you go over there, gearsforyears.com, you'll find the album over there. Um, and uh, on Spotify and other streaming platform, those will be available soon. If you follow us on uh, Facebook uh, and Instagram, we are updating over there. And uh, you, you can get all the information from there. You can stream our music, but the only way you can help us is by buying the album, the physical copy. So it needs to come back. So please do that. Uh, so that's the only way you can support, uh, you know, support us and move this one forward. So all the music you heard uh, is composed by Mr. Robert Russell. Um, all the bass is done by uh, Tanvir Haq and myself, Taufik Arifin Tujo, uh, playing all the drums and percussion. Um, we hope to see you guys uh, soon but not very soon, actually. So, thank you. We'll see you next time. Thank, thank you, Third Space. The one thing.